All right, so what I'm putting together is a charging station for uh, just cell phones and things like that, and you can also plug in USB lights into. This is a 30 watt solar panel. Got a cheap battery, cheap charge controller, and these will be what's set up at the end of them to plug in uh, two USB and a 12 volt. You can plug a fan. It's made for cars and RVs in there. And we'll put it all together and I'm going to build a little uh, stand that can be screwed right to a wall on there. So let's get at it. All right, I'm going to be using this uh, 1 by 10 as my little shelf unit put everything together. First thing I'm going to do is cut off a bottom for the shelf. The battery is only 5 inches deep, 8 inches wide, so the bottom shelf I'm just going to make it 6 inches. One here, one here, the battery will sit down in here, charge control will go up there, and the outlets. Beautiful. So now you're starting to get the idea. Battery can sit in here. I'm going to cut the height of this down. Charge controller will go in here. And also my outlets. Awesome. The way this is going to work, so that sticks out the back there. So a battery will be in here, so I need to run wires through the back. <clears throat> They'll come up and off the battery, that'll come up to there. I can run all the wires in the back. If I just drill one hole here and one hole in the back of this. I can bring my charging wires right down, bring them out here for the battery, and from the battery, run it up to the back and connect to these guys. I'm going to go with half inch. Not too bad. It's a, um, yeah, not really. Harbor Freight. 
the spade bit because I have a nice spade bit set. I just don't know where the heck they are. So I'm then going to run one through here. Actually, I'm going to put it off. Yeah, I'm going to put it off to the side. So I'm running, this is 14 gauge wire, which is a lot heavier than what the solar panel has, but I'm running this from the charge controller to the battery. So for anybody who's interested in solar charge controls, if you haven't set one up, they are so easy to do. And you'll see in a minute, two terminals for the battery, two terminals for the, um, I'm sorry, two, two terminals for the solar panel coming in, two terminals for the battery that goes out to the battery, and that's what I just connected to. And this third one, they all pretty much have the same thing is what they call the load. The load will go when the panels start not having any power come into the charge control. The charge control will turn these two on. So if you have a, you know, a light at a door or something like that, it'll automatically come on. I don't use them because they're just going to run the battery down. And these do come with a USB charger on the side, but they only seem to work when the battery is not hooked up. I don't know what that's all about, but that's the way this one is. There we go. That goes from the charge controller charge the battery, this one comes out, goes up to these. So of course I gotta try out, see if I can set up the battery. See how that goes. I had a little more space in here, but I don't. But that's pretty good like that. All right, see if you can see that. So we got power from the battery. It runs the charge controller. I don't have the solar panel hooked up, so it's just telling me what's going on in the battery. And I can check here. Solar panel, there's nothing coming into the... But you can see there's 1.3 volts. That's what this is actually using from the battery. And it's telling me the battery's at 81%. And it's at 12.7 volts. And if I hold this, I just, you can go into the menu. I'm showing the flooded lead acid is the one um, flashing. So that's the one I got. But they'll also do, and it shows up there, that's a flooded lead acid that it's set for. So cool. I'll put the solar panel on it and check it out. You get power there. You get power there. Full USB light. Now we can charge up phones. Uh, use use the lights. 
I'm like I said, I'm not painting this or staining it or doing anything. It's just a rough thing. So I went ahead and put my little 30 watt panel out there. Went ahead and wired it into the charge controller. And I can cycle through this. I got 13.8 volts coming in. Got 0.8 amps coming in. 0.71. It's telling me the battery's at 100%. I don't believe that. Um, tells me it's 13.1 volts. 